Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your January 2019 general reading. Um, it's a general reading, so if it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it's not for you. Okay. Um, I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. Let's go ahead and get started. Happy New Year, guys. Um, okay. There's a reversal in here, shouldn't there? Gemini's, you're in separation with someone. I'm trying to figure out how to get them back. For some of my Gemini's, you are cheating. Oh, sorry to say it. It's not me. It's the cards. Um, I think you, you better watch out. You might get found out, Gemini. If you're okay with getting found out, then hey. You know. Um. Someone thinks you're you're not as mature as you should be, okay? And that's not to say that you are immature. That's just saying that someone thinks you are, okay? So let's get started with love, and then we'll jump into career and finances. Okay, two cards just fell out. Nine of Pentacles, High Priestess, definitely. Okay, Seven of Cups. Eight of Swords, Prince of Swords, bottom of the deck, the Moon card. All right, so Gemini, for some of you, you're so you're not communicating like you want to with a particular person. Um, some of you, you're single, you're in separation from, you want to be partnered with. You want the Ten of Pentacles with a particular person. Could be Piscean person, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra like yourself, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. Um, you and this person are very different. You want the same thing essentially, but you're, you're two very different people. So it makes it increasingly hard to get to that end result. Because, um, like I said, someone feels you're different, um, not as mature as uh, you should be. Uh, the player, the, the the joker, the person that plays, uh, or the person that wears many faces. You, you are the twins. Um, this is how you're coming off to that person. Not saying that this is you and you're bad and blah blah blah. No, no, no. This is how they're seeing you. If you want someone to see you in a different light, portray yourself in that light. You can't stop dreaming or thinking about them. Also, some of you may be dealing with a cheating spouse or partner, someone who makes promises just to break them. You feel stuck in a situation or, or vice versa. They feel stuck. Um, then there's some of you who just constantly think and even dream about Think about uh, going toward a person uh, hastily, speaking your truth about how you feel about them. Let's see, we got the moon here. Um, someone feels very deeply about a particular person, but at the same time, there's there's so much difference. Sagittarius, the fearlet, or yeah. Um, the Ten of Swords. You're going to have to wait. Because things will come to a complete end. This hurt, this pain, this, this the mental strain or the mental, um. Sorry guys, I had to sneeze. Um. begin to level out and balance out and then the will of fortune the will will start to turn change will happen here if some of you want change in regards to a particular person relationship 
destined and fated events will occur. Then the star comes out. Some of you definitely dealing with an Aquarius person. Uh, your wish fulfillment. Uh, the healing process. Restoration. Um, getting recognition. King of Wands. This is a sexy person right here. Whoever you, you're dealing with. You, they, they look very nice. You like the way they look. Two of Pentacles. You desire them. You want them. Weighing up options. For some of you dealing with a cancer man. They may have you in a love affair. Maybe with everybody's here. Six of this is two of pentacles, four of pentacles, six of pentacles. This is a person giving to two parties. This is a committed person the giving to another party outside of um, a commitment. They're holding on to then the King of Cups. What did I tell you? Could be Cancer, Man, Scorpio, Piscean. This is someone who desires something or someone. This is someone who is very much in love with. And then the Chariot card at the bottom of the deck. Cards never fail. try to push this thing forward gain momentum and control of what it is they want and what they what it is they desire and what it is they, they love what what has a hold on them they'll come out beating themselves up about holding themselves back in regards to feeling obligated to either you Gemini or to another person this person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, may choose to Eight of Cups, have the strength to walk away from or walk back toward, um, abandon, completely abandon a path and try to reignite or have the motivation to This person got like some spiritual awareness, like some dreams, some epiphany in regards to this this commitment that they're in. This could be you, Gemini. This could be someone else you, you're dealing with. It looks like they they have come, yeah they come to a place. What a, I'm sorry, Gemini. Of wanting to end something and start anew somewhere else. Three of Pentacles. Wanting to build or rebuild somewhere else with someone. Ten of Cups makes them very happy. They want to move forward. Eight of Wands have the strength to reach out and have communication with. Looks like my Gemini man is wanting to reach out to a person that they are in separation with. Uh, they may be... There was like something that happened to where things just went left. For my Gemini woman, there's someone who you have been with for a very long time who feels like the relationship was, there was love, there was also a lot of obligation. And they may be trying to rethink that within themselves and, and really ask themselves, are they happy? Ten of Cups. Wow. And then the Ace of Swords. They may be trying to sever or at least communicate exactly how they feel. That's what's going on for love um, for my Geminis. I'm going to get the what's the advice for Gemini in love? What's the advice for Gemini? It's general advice. General advice. Four of Swords. Rest, prayer, meditation brings answers. Rebirth. You might be separated from someone, but you might get a second chance here. Don't don't f it up. Seven of Swords. 
have a plan of action here. Uh, you're going to have to be sharp mentally with this person. Well, the sun is here. It's a blessed endeavor. Wow. The world could be dealing with Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. Once this happens, yeah, you'll be able to gain control. Okay. The advice here is definitely um, pray about what it is you want. It may come back around to you. You may have the opportunity to get in control of the situation if not to move it forward to gain closure to move towards something that fulfills you on a, a more emotional level and to sever ties Because you see that this is not going to manifest into what it is you really want. Even though you may feel like this person is a soulmate. So that's the advice there. Give it a chance. And, and, and the second chance very well looks like it will come around for you. So, Career and finance. What do you have to tell Gemini for career and finance? We have to tell. I feel like career finance is going pretty well for Gemini. Career finance for Jim. Okay. <laughs> Queen of Swords, Seven of Wands, the Emperor, the Magician. Nice. Devil. Right. So there has been some change within your, your world. Um, it, how you feel emotionally about a particular something? It could even be job related. This right here, five of five of pentacle, and the devil says there might be money issues or or credit credit worthiness issues some of you may feel like there's lack you may have a lack mentality or you don't um you feel like you don't have the funds to move something forward um also this this really talks about credit worthiness and and maybe having to uh, change something in regards to credit and uh shift that focus onto betterment uh, of that situation um, toxic energy thought pattern money related what you do with your money it may be you may be doing this for a very long time too it comes fast it goes fast um, some of you may be paying cash for a lot of big ticket items when you can be thinking about credit worthiness and or um, financing some things that will allow you to have some liquid asset um, and not always pour out uh, or liquidate the bank account to make a large purchase. And we're talking about large purchases. I'm not talking about usually you swipe your credit card to go to dinner. You know, if you can pay cash for dinner, pay cash for it. Um, some of you uh, have plans of starting business, being a business owner, an entrepreneur. Just keep going. This says keep going. Keep going with that because you're manifesting well. It's just that now we get to the money part and you're kind of like... 
I don't know because you might be looking at it one sided in regards to well I don't have all the money to do that whatever that may be but you also like going back to you know um, being the bar the borrower you know um, going to a lender um, credit worthiness here um, it will definitely shift your focus five of cup emotionally see our emotions a lot of times are tied to the amount of money we have to do what it is we're trying to do right and if there is lack there then we feel emotionally drained um, hurt uh, down sad grief about um, it says six of sword you're gonna have to make a decision that puts you in a more calm and placid place financially and if it and it can't always be to liquidate um, the bank account if you you know you may have to get be the magician and use all tools available and not just one the pentacle right uh, nine of cups once you do that you get wish fulfillment here and three of sword hmm Oh, your wish fulfillment is to divorce from an existing way of earning income. You become the queen of pentacle. You definitely make solid and stable decisions in regards to your money, um, uh, assets, and, and, and finances, and everything in that umbrella. Once you decide, you got to make it a choice. Wow, nothing but stability coming in once you decide. Four of Wands, get more information in regards to maybe purchasing a home, something around the home, something around, yeah, home buying, credit worthiness. Your business may have something to do with credit. You have to have the credit to do the money. Yeah. Seven of Swords, yeah. And then once you get more information about what it is you're doing and how you need to do it, you can now devise the plan of action and, act, and actually take action in regards to, oh uh, wow, uh, what is due to you karmically and just and just and what is just and fair will come to you. The justice card. Uh, it'll feel like an uphill battle at, at times. You may even want to separate from it, but stay motivated because... Um, this is where you get to the nine of pentacles the business owner the entrepreneur the person who has an idea of business ownership which makes them restless in their current position in which you really want to divorce from that way of making money have the strength to, to move this forward and to get either money issues in order um, you may not want to take out loan but understand that it may be what you have to do spirit may also speak with you in regards to that in regards to wish fulfillment restoration or moving things forward um, things may be moving on your behalf in the spiritual realm for you especially if you're praying so you'll be able to get to the ten of pentacles of the culmination of the ace of pentacles and the ten of pentacles and then you start all over either in that business or a new business or a new career or, or that same career but you have to make the choice to be the entrepreneur the mover the shaker the charismatic outgoing person who knows people who can delegate well okay some of you this is a spiritual uh, business okay all right, that this looks like work, but it's still good. Okay, I just think you have to look at things from a different perspective. Okay, so let's close this out with some angel answers. Okay. Gems, my Gemini's in regards to love, career, and finance. Two cards, three cards for love, three cards for love, three cards for career and finance.
three cards for Korean planets. Okay, bottom of the deck is up to you. Okay. We saw that with the magician there. Okay, love, improving health, okay? So the, the health of a relationship will improve. Kind of saw that. It's kind of like take the, the reins off. Wait for the perfect timing to move forward. If you believe, okay? And not the right time. Just I just said all of that. So um, that looks good for love too. It's just more so of you, you pulling back. Okay, and giving a person or persons, I don't know, the opportunity to um, make their own mind up. Okay, career and finance, the situation will improve. Choose a new direction. What did I say? Some of you are looking at the bank account and saying, Well, I couldn't possibly do that or this, but you've got to choose a new direction. It may be that you have to get a co-signer or a business partner get a loan to look at things differently okay within the next few weeks all right so we've got a timeline there um i'm gonna pull a few cards going to take those the situation will improve well you know i really want to focus on within the next few weeks what's happening for my gemini's within the next few weeks three of diamond nice <laughs> what this talks about legal issues legal problems legalities partnership uh, contracts you might have to Get a loan, you may have to get a partner, you may have to get a co-signer, but what does it make you the highest level of happiness? Okay? Alright, so look at things from a different perspective here in career and finance. Okay. Um, improving health. This could be actually improving health, right? Like just for yourself. But it also could be for your relationship. Improving health. Seven of club. Um, keep going. Uh, whatever it is you're doing, keep going. Your your psychic abilities are heightened toward the opposite sex. Also, you know exactly what's going on. Um, if this person tells you otherwise, don't believe it. Trust your gut. Okay. There's prosperity and forward movement here. Not the right time. What is not the right time for my Gemini? Nine of Cups, two of spades. Okay. To have your wishes fulfilled. Not the right time right now. And two of spades talks about opposition. Someone instinctually, intuitively knowing that they have to make a decision. Uh, they have to cut something out or cut away, move away from. Um, it's not the right time. Five of Diamond um, talks about success in home and business jack of spade talks about wearing many hats wearing many faces being the player it's not the right time it's not the right time maybe you you aren't as mature as you think or or vice versa someone else you're dealing with is not mature as you think ten of club unexpected good luck and uh, good fortune here yeah, good money all right, Gemini's, it looks very good for you moving forward. Um, I, you know, I don't think I told you anything that you didn't already know, right? Anyhow, if you feel like this reading resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Gemini, happy new year. And know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.